Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Shopify with Xero. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Shopify.com or log in to existing account. Once we do that, we'll soon find out on the left sidebar you can also make some integrations, but unfortunately we won't be able to make this Shopify with Xero integration. So we are going to need to use third-party app. In our case, it will be automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we're here, we want to go to integrations on top corner of our screen and go to see all categories. Once we're in here, we have to write down name of the first app, which in our case will be Shopify. Now, uh, as the Shopify is integrated, let's pick the counterpart, which will be Xero. As you can see, automate.io is greeting us with some popular integrations. They are already pre-made for us. But if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with a Shopify first. In this case, let's go with the first option. But there's uh, many more to pick from. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go and uh, pick Xero. Also, not the first one, I'm going with the first ones just to show you, but any one that you need. All we have to do now is to hit Try It Now button, and we'll get redirected to Login or Register page. And as you can see, that's the last thing you have to do. Once you log in, you are good to go with that integration. Your integration is basically finished. The next app that we can use is Zapier.com, which is a very similar app to Automate.io. Once we're in here, uh, once we're in here, uh, we need to create ourselves an account as well. Go to the top left corner to create this app. Same as at Automate, we want to start with the trigger. So the trigger will be Shopify. Now we need the first. Now we need the first trigger event, so I'm sticking with the, the first one. Now we have to log in to the account at Shopify, continue, and now we can test our trigger. On the second action though, we want to go with Xero. Action event, same as at uh, automate, we have to pick it manually, continue, and the last thing is we have to log into Xero. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.